Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install uh, Jetkin. Uh, that is a step by step process. I am going to show you how to install Jetkin on Ubuntu 15.04 that I am using. And this Ubuntu 15.04 is uh, I have 64 bit supported. So you can also install in uh, Ubuntu flavors like Linux Mint, Debian, X Ubuntu also. The same method, the same procedure to follow that I am going to show you. Every step and every command you can find below to my video in the description box. So you can find below to my video in the description box. So let us begin now this is procedure. So first of all uh, we need to have a JDK or GRE installation uh, in my Ubuntu or whatever you are using operating system for the supported. So you need to have JDK or GRE installation both you can have any one. So the second one so you need to install and so you need to check whether this is installed or not and then you need to check your current uh, Edison or JDK files you have or not the website you can see on the screen is the website of the J jetkin the hyphen ci.org the website where you can find about uh, instructions and documents and downloads are there in the website so first of all I'm going to uh, downloading and installing this Oracle JDK uh, supporting you can also download for this from the website also or you can download from the terminal also so first of all whether you can download for the jdk or grk anyone you can download and you need to download support it for the 64 bit if you are using operating system for 32 bit you need to download for the 32 bit if you are using 64 bit then you need to proceed for the 64 bits so step 3 is to check the version uh, for this uh, uh, jdk java which uh, you have downloaded the version on the website you can see where you can download directly also so after that i am going to installing jetkin so this is the command step 4, 5, 6, 7 are the procedure for uh, downloading from the wetget. I am going to download then adding the key uh, to Jetkins. After that we need to uh, add this uh, source list Jetkin. After adding the source list I am going to update it then I am going to install Jetkin. So let us begin this procedure now. So on the screen you can see this is the website where you can find for the installation. So you can download. Uh, JDK here and it support latest version came 8 here JDK uh, you can download for the GRE also here from the website directly once you click on the JDK or JDK download it will be redirected to your page where you can download this one Java and for Jetkin see this is the website for the Jetkin where you can find about these tutorials everything about the Jetkins here so here I am using Ubuntu 15.04 operate uh, Ubuntu server 64 bit supported so here I'm going to log in with the directly uh, user now I'm going to checking this here uh, logging with the root type su yeah so type a r c h architecture to check your to check your uh, whether 32 bit or 64 bit you can see on the screen so let us type apt hyphen get install uh, open jdk use hyphen 8 the version you can give 7 also there just type jdk ok you need to press enter on the screen you can see it's going to be download at least 485 mb of here uh, additionally it's quite 10 mb and it's going to be download 1040 mb now the screen on you can see uh, that installation download has been completed. We will verify this Java hyphen version. So, on the screen, you can see the open JDK the 64 bit supported and the version 1.8 that has been downloaded and installed. It. So, now I am going to clear this one. Now, I am going to install Jetkin. Now, type wetget and type hyphen q. Yes. So just give space and use hyphen uh, and here you need to use capital hyphen uh, not use okay give hyphen now type here space you give https use the last add hyphen press enter so you can see that's has been added now we'll move to the next one step here is it we need to use here 
sh yes hyphen c yes comments echo yes dot http so this is i am adding the source list this one so this source list we need to add just press enter that has been added now i am going to update it type apt hyphen get update press enter so this is the installation method i am doing first i have been download the wet get then add it the key after that so i am going to add it in the source list directly we have been added jet key then i am going to update it now that's completed so please remember the first step i have been added the key the second one i have been added the source list of this jet key after that update now i am going to installing jet key here so just remove this one type here jet keys yes so for uh, if if it is in future if jet keys comes with the latest version means so here is their update to latest version so what you need to just first update it uh, then you need to uh, install with the same command apt and get install jetkin so this is the method for updating jetkins and the next one is what this package is do so first jetkin will be launch as a daemon on the startup when the system you reboot it will be start the jetkin so this is the link uh, configuration file is there slash etc in dot slash jetkins for more details you can write and the jetkin user is created to run the server so um, log files will be placed in uh, slash where slash log slash jetkins slash jetkins or logs is the location where it's going to have these uh, log files and you can check the troubleshoot whatever the if, if you get any error means you can check in the jetkin dot log in, in that location uh, file you will find this errors and troubleshoot uh, whatever if you get so slash etc slash before jetkins will capture the configuration parameter for the launch like jetkins underscore home that's going to be captured in jetkin uh, its configuration file so by default jetkin descent or the port number 8080 access to this port for the browser to start the configuration so just we need to start on the opening the browser and we need to just start the port number with the ip address or local host to start this uh, in configuration so like error means if you get the failed start jetkin means so we need to open this uh, configuration file of the jetkin so we need to use and type slash etc use slash default ok jetkin type press enter here you can change your port number if you want to change the http port number for, if, for example here when you type here you will get 8080 i just now have changed this 80281 so if you get for uh, 80 is using already means you can change to any port number whatever you want to use for example purpose i have given the 8081 the port number so just change the port number and save to just press ctrl x and save this one after that you need to come on to your browser and there you need to type the ip address 192.168.0 dot 120 and give semicolon 8081 press enter so now you can see on the screen dashboards coming so after typing the ip address you can type inserts of ip address you can type domain name also by giving semicolon 8081 dom you need to give port number so here we need to give the permission here first of all it's going to be access everyone can access so first of all i'm going to create some permissions that, that only these uh, user can access the permission so for that one you need to click uh, manage jetkins under that once you need to check this unsure uh, jetkins allow anyone on the network to launch a process on behalf considering at least enabling authentication to discourage misuse for that purpose click to setups now in that one you need to check this box okay after that checking the box just to you need to check the control access control what i want you give like you need to give a uh, unix user and group database or delete to server or jetkin user owner so i am selecting this option uh, allow users to sign up here after that here the authorization is saying anyone can do anything or is you login user can do anything and checking the box so according to your purpose production environment whatever you are using you need to check your 
uh, box and just clicks on to here uh, so just uh, save and uh, apply so here we need to directly come with your uh, login ID so we don't have any user and the password first of for that one you need to click on create account for that one you need to type here and giving cloud network okay and the password so after giving email ID and the username full username the password click to sign up here so here you can see uh, that's uh, you have been logged in and I'm going to top of page here now the user has been created now no one can log in here without username and password and for here I'm going to create a new jobs here you can click here also or you can click new items in that one I'm giving up time here and check this box free project types so click to save it now okay go to and now you need to come on the descriptions you can give anything like this one is high i'm giving and you can check this uh, uh, discard everything you can go it click or apply it you can give save this one also now you need to click on so here are the some of the options are there uh, you can disable the project edit the descriptions change works when right? build now you can check this build schedule also is showing here you can delete and configure if you want to go see these are the some same advanced option is here on the screen you can see this is running you want to deploy your Ubuntu on the cloud means uh, so this is your uh, procedure uh, just for deploying that Jenkins uh, just type this uh, command step level to 15 uh, you can able to come up with this procedure uh, so if you want to set up for the proxy port number 80 uh, I want to give 80 just follow this uh, uh, customized procedure and a 16 17 18 you will be come up with all the procedure and open the configuration file and just copy and paste this configuration file replace domain name email id and your port number after that you need to save and install the apache then you need to restart the apache after that you want to set up for the proxy so this is the procedure for setting the proxy in IGS. Uh, so default go this configuration and once you come up with uh, configuration for the check-in so you will create a copy and place that will not run any problem so just copy and paste this configuration in the check -ins and uh, set this control D to finish the writing files once you have done all those things uh, restart your Nagix and just go to this your my server slash jetkins and you can or you can give port number so for any clarification friends you can comment below to my video and like us and share my video amongst your friends and relatives thank you for watching anti-cloud please subscribe to cloud channel